Welcome back. Today we are doing a Russian friendship tea. This is a gift in a jar. And today is day 10 of Vlogmas 2020. So the first thing I want to do is um, in my blender, I'm going to add one cup of Lipton or Nest tea, whichever brand you happen to have, um, instant tea to the blender. Now you don't have to blend this if you don't want. I like to blend it because I think it mixes everything a lot better, but you certainly do not have to blend this if you don't have a blender or don't want to mess with it. All right, next I'm going to add one cup of Tang. I love Tang. It takes me back to my childhood. And next I'm going to add two cups of Country Time Lemonade. You don't have to use the name brand if you don't like, but I'm using the name brand because that's what my grandma always had. And again, this one reminds me of my grandma, just my childhood in the 70s and early 80s. All right, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And once I have that in there, I'm gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna set it to the pulse setting, which mine is, I think, four to eight seconds. You're gonna to wanna to pause it for about 45 seconds to a minute. All right, once it's done, I'm just gonna take the lid off and I'm going to kind of scrape down the uh, tea from the sides and I'm going to pour or spoon this into a quart size jar. I ended up having to shut the camera off because I couldn't do this one handed and that's it it's super easy it's inexpensive and it is so incredibly good and it makes a great gift all right you can prepare this to gift two different ways the first way is you can put a piece of fabric i just cut a piece about 12 inches around and put it on top of my jar and then i got some curling ribbon out you can use twine or any other kind of ribbon you like. I just like the curling ribbon the best uh, for packages like this. And I'm just going to cut that in half. And you can cut it as long as you want. I cut mine just probably about 12 or 18 inches, somewhere in there. And I had to cut it down a little bit to curl. But I put the rubber band around it, like I did the jar uh, brownies in the jar. And then I wrapped my ribbon around it my curling ribbon. And once I've got that tied on there, I'm gonna actually take the black um, hair tie off. This is brand new. Don't worry, it's never touched my hair. And I'm gonna um, just do the ribbon on this one. And once I've got that done, I'm going to just curl it. To curl the ribbon, you take the, your, the blade of your scissors and you run it down the um, textured side, the doll side, and that'll curl it up. And it just makes it look, I think it looks cute this way. And then I just made a little label or cardstock. You can also bag some up in a Ziploc bag or a small treat bag. And you can add that to a Dollar Tree mug for a cute and inexpensive gift. All right, to prepare this, I'm going to add two heaping spoonfuls of the tea mixture. Now I did about a cup and a half of water. If you're only doing a cup, I would probably just do maybe one teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon and a little more. And of course this is subject to taste and I'm adding my hot water. I'm going to stir this to make sure that all of the dry ingredients do get melted and blended in. And once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of my water, and that's it. It's very easy to make, it's delicious, and it really does take me back to my childhood. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really like doing homemade gifts like this, and I think this is a, fun gift and a delicious gift. I've actually had this tea for years, ever since 
gosh, probably in the 70s when I was a little girl, I remember my mom making it. It is really, really good. So I'm gonna give it a taste. Oh man, it's just as good as I remember. Um, I call it Russian friendship tea. You can call it friendship tea. It has several different names, but that's what I've always known it as. So, um, also, I like that you can do this as a gift, and you can do it in uh, quart jars. You could do pint or half pint jars, or even four ounce jars. You can do the cup, like I showed you, like this. About it for now. Excuse my dog, she sees somebody walking by. And I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget, not every day is good, but there's always something good in every day. And I'll see you next time. I would appreciate you um, considering to subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to hit 500 subscribers by January 1st. I'm getting very close. So if you like this kind of content, just a variety, a hodgepodge of things, cooking, baking, alcohol reviews, um, some crafting, thrift with me, just a plethora of things, things I enjoy is what I want to share. Um, definitely hit that subscribe and the notification bell. It definitely helps me in the YouTube algorithms as well as to get me out there. So I think that's about it for now. I do hope you have a great day. Don't forget, not every day is good, but there's always something good in every day, especially when you have a nice warm glass of tea. I'll see you next time.